All right, you guys, here's the deal. This year has been complete crap. My musky season has been garbage. I have not been doing any musky fishing at all really this fall with the exception of my trip to Minnesota about a month ago. It's prime time for muskies. They're feeding. Everybody I know is catching muskies left and right. And I just haven't had time to get out. So I've been sneaking in these little trips here and there, half hour trips, lunch break trips, doing the best I can to try to cast. And the last time I was at this spot, I got my butt kicked. I went one for three, lost two big fish, especially, well, one nice fish and one big fish. Either one of them would have been the biggest fish for me on the year because that's how poor my season has gone. So I need redemption. That's all this is about, is I got a little bit of time to fish right now. The weather's complete garbage. We're in the middle of a nasty cold front at the start of a really bad cold front. It's freezing and it's raining, but I don't care. I'm stubborn. I need to put some fish in the bag before the season ends and try to salvage this year to the best of my ability. So stay tuned. Hopefully I can get something here and you'll see me holding up at least one or two nice muskies. Before I call it quits, let's go. Got him. Got him. Bigger fish. Got another one. Got another one. Oh no! Shoot! Oh, I got off. Dang. There's another one, you guys. There's another one, a better one. This is a really good fish, you guys. Really good fish. Stay pin, baby. Stay pin, baby. Going to Old Faithful, Suic. See if the Suic can get bit. Ah, I might have to go to a bigger one. This one is just a little too light. It's weighted but it's just a tad bit too light. It's just blowing out in this current. We got more rain, so the water is higher, which sucks, and the current's even stronger, so that might be part of my problem today, along with the cold front. More rain, higher water, more current. Super cold front, come on, one of you's gotta be hungry. At least one of you. I'm gonna force feed you today. Getting one of you to chew. Gonna get at least one to chew. And it's gonna be a good one. We're gonna stick her. There we go, there we go, there we go. As I said it, oh gosh, got her, got her. Be right back, you guys. All right, you guys. Got about a 40-inch fish, low 40-inch fish on my suic. Really nice fish, though. Gonna get her back and see if I can't get another one. Probably 40, 41, not much more than that. All right, you guys. She's angry. She's probably ready to go right away. About a 40-inch fish. Might be 41. She's a little lean for this time of year. But she's probably going to start putting on the feed bag right now. Call it 41. I don't think it's more than 41, but nice fish. Good start. Just let go of that fish, that 40, 41 inch musky. It's crazy, I'll have to watch the footage, but I think I was just talking about taking that bait off right before she hit it or something, or needing to catch one, I'll have to go back and watch it. But once I got in the net, right when I turned off the camera, she went nuts in the net and got my suic all bent and jacked up and the tails messed up. And uh, it sucks because I don't have time to really mess with it and try to fix it right now. So I'm going to go with a glider. Hopefully I can stick one on this bait. But it sucks to catch a fish on a bait and then not be able to use it. But let's just see if I can get lucky with a glider here. I've hooked two fish already this fall on this bait. And they both got off. 
And the big one I hooked last time I was here, the biggest, foot, the biggest fish I probably hooked this year was on this bait and she got off. So I really need to land one on this bait. It's new, it's from my buddy Mike. It's a custom glider. It's got my logo on it. And I've barely cast it, but it's already hooked me two fish, including a really nice one. So a big one. So third time to charm. We're gonna catch the third fish that eats this. crap you guys this is a better fish oh dude I was just talking about losing a fish on this glider oh my gosh and I figure eight this fish you guys she came in I saw her I did a turn on the eight and I got her oh this is definitely bigger than the last one it's super fat redemption you guys redemption you guys this fish isn't even a giant it's like 42, maybe 43. But my year has sucked so bad, you have no idea how good this feels. And this is a healthy fish, and I just lost a fish on this bait over here recently. And to get this fish on a brand new custom glider from my buddy Mike, to get it on the eight, come on. It doesn't get much better than that. I'm gonna get her unpinned, and we're gonna get some pictures and let her go. Be right back, you guys. She is super healthy fish, super fat. Went around the eight on the glider, custom Mike Conklin, just keep casting glider. Thanks, brother. Really nice fish, you guys. 42-ish. Maybe 43. Super fat. Just absolutely crushed the glider on the figure eight. So cool. So cool. Nice fish. Gonna let her go. Look how fat that thing is. All fatty. Awesome river fish. Yeah, she's about a 42. Super thick. I don't think she's 43. I mean, she might go 43. She's in that range. 42, 43, but definitely 42. Look at the back on this fish, you guys. Look at the shoulders and the head. Definitely not a big fish, but as bad as my year has been, it's my biggest fish this season, so I'll take it. Really healthy, beautiful Wisconsin fish. Oh, she's ready. She's ready. There you go, sweetheart. There she goes. Sweet! Oh! redemption two fish you guys in less than 10 minutes i seriously let that one go and i don't know i don't know i let that fish go it's been about it was maybe five to ten minutes apart sweet let's see if i can get another one all right you guys we're back in commission it took forever bait was a mess net was a mess i was a mess my bait is missing this brand new, just keep casting glider. Got my logo on it from my good friend, Mike Conklin. Thanks, brother. For, first two times I used it, I hooked and lost a fish. Third time's a charm. But the tail is gone, as you can see. That back hook is jacked up. But I don't have any of my tools, you guys. I'm wading the river. You can't bring a bunch of gear. I've got just enough to get hooks out and whatnot. But 
Don't have my hook sharpener, don't have my tail replacements, don't have my glue. But I'm gonna see if I can get bit again without the tail and with that janky hook. They clearly like this thing, so let's see if I can get bit again. Gosh, that was so cool, figure eight glider, I love it. A lot of guys say, how do you figure eight gliders or even like suics and stuff, man. It's one of my favorite things to do. The action is just so cool when you can hang it and pause it and they just eat like that. Oh, that was bottom. That was bottom. Whew. Got my heart going though. Oh, that was so sick, you guys. Again, not a giant, but for Southern Wisconsin, a 42 to 43 inch fish is a nice fish. And considering my year, I will take it. It's my best fish on the year so far. I know there's bigger ones here, so let's see if I can get another one, but I'm pretty happy about going two for two right now in under 10 minutes. And uh, getting that fish on the figure eight was just an awesome added bonus. So can we make it a third? They're getting bigger. Man, it would be awesome. I'd freak out if I got a 45 right now, I tell you what. If I got a 45 inch fish, that would be pretty epic. Epic. Come on, Big Mama, I know you're here. I know you're here, Big Mama. So crazy, you guys. I called that fish on the suic, basically. And then when I put this on, I said third time to charm. And you guys, that was only like my fourth or fifth cast with this bait. Might have been less. I'm going to have to go back and watch. But it wasn't more than four casts. Maybe five tops. Oh, that's so sick. What's crazy, you guys, is I saw that fish last minute. Right here, I saw it come up when I got right here. I just did one turn. Oh, and she smoked it. That was so cool. I ain't gonna lie, it's not easy figure eighting a glider in crazy current like this, but... Oh, thankfully she hit it on that first turn because a lot of times what can happen, you guys, in current like this, river fish, when the current's this fast, if they don't get it on the first turn, they lose it. And the current will push them away. I mean, if they don't have a little pocket to hang in, it can be really hard to get a fish after that first turn. And thankfully for me, she ate it on that first turn. Got another one. Got another one, you guys. Got another one. Got another one. Oh man. Oh man. This is a good fish too. This is a good fish too. This is a good fish too. Oh, it got off. Dang. Dang, you guys. That sucked. That one wasn't hooked as good. That was another low 40s. That was a good fish. Shoot, that sucks. Oh! Oh, you guys, that was a heartbreaker. I just watched the footage again real quick. I had to watch that. That was a good fish. Um, man, it was really close to the same size as the one I just let go. It might have been a tad bigger, but I mean, it wasn't 45. It was uh, right in that 42 range, 42, 43. Um, gosh, would have been nice to get that fish. Just gotta keep casting two for three, can't complain. That one was not hooked good, I could tell right away. And I almost had her, but it's just so hard, you guys. I am on boulders in the water. My net's over here. It's just so tricky and it's slippery. I actually almost fell when I went to grab the net. Oh, it's just timing. It's hard. It's hard to time it and to do it quickly. Probably should have got her right away, but I just, I didn't have the angle. So just going to keep fishing, see if I can get another one. Man, on the same glider that's all jacked up with the missing tail and the back hook's janky. That was so cool. They are firing, man. Oh, there it was. not There was again. There was again another fish. I just had to follow that first cast, you guys, when I turned my camera on. There she is. She's back. She's back. She's back.
she's back. Oh my gosh, you guys. Oh my gosh. I just fell down trying to figure eight. I literally just fell down trying to figure eight. How many, that's a different fish, dude. That's crazy. There she is. There she is. She's back. She's back. This fish is still here, you guys. Oh my gosh, what is happening right now? Just eat it, dude. Just eat it. I cannot figure eight, you guys. I'm, I, I almost fell again. I almost fell again. Oh my gosh. This water is so high, the rocks I normally stand on are underwater. You have got to be kidding me. Oh my gosh. Come on, let's go, dude. Give me another chance. That fish, that, that one, you guys, I just had up, went around three times on the eight. But like I told you, in the current, it's so hard for them to track it. She kept coming for it, but she just couldn't get it. This is insane, dude. They love this dang bait. Mike, I definitely need more of this one, bro. That fish that just came around three times was a good fish. 40 plus. There is just a ton of them in here in that range. Gosh, there's got to be a Mondo, though, somewhere. There's got to be a big girl. Oh, it sucks I lost that one, too, but I'm going to get another shot. I'm going to get another shot. Come on. Try something a little different, you guys. Gonna go small with like a little twitch bait. A very small Jake. This is a musky bait, but it's like the five inch or six inch little twitch bait. I bought it specifically for the river, but I've, I haven't thrown it much. But when I did throw it, I caught a big pike on it last year, so I don't know. This reel is acting up again. I'm gonna have to take this thing back, man. Seriously. It's drag. Something's wrong with this reel. Something is really wrong with this reel. But yeah, I bought this little Jake for river fishing. And uh, haven't had any luck with it yet with muskies. It'd be nice to get one right now. Let's cast, homie. Last cast. There's a fish. There's a fish. That's a good one too, you guys. That is a good one. It just said last cast too. Feels decent. Feels decent. Feels decent. Oh yeah. Good fish. You need to be quick with this one. You need to be quick with this one. Got him. Yes, number three, baby. And I just said last cast on this bait. <laughs> Gotta be kidding me. This one might be the biggest, it's close. This fish is at least 42. Same class as the other ones. Shoot, my line's all jingled. I'll be right back, you guys. I don't wanna break my rod tip. Oh, oh no, stay in there. Stay in there. He almost got out, you guys. Oh gosh, you guys. Biggest fish yet, biggest fish yet. This is about a 44. Just another beast, you guys. Just another stuff. Look at that thing. 
fat, fat, 44 ish, I'm gonna call it. At least 43, probably 44. I don't know if she's quite 45, but this might be the big one I lost the other day. She's in that 44 plus range. Stinking awesome. Three out of four. Let's see if I can get another one. They're going. They are going, guys. She's 44. You know, I just, I don't know if she's quite 45. She's close, but 44. Yeah, she's, she's a 44. I, I would love to have the time to bump her and all that, but she's not, she's not bigger than 45, I don't think. So we'll call her 44. Beautiful fish. Super fat, dude. Just a toad. There she goes. There she goes. Oh my gosh, you guys, redemption, baby. Redemption, I told you. I told you when I came down here. Oh man. I don't know, I don't even know how many fish are in here now, but that might have been the big one I lost last time I was here. That fish was 44 all day, might have been 45. I don't think it was quite. Um, really nice fish, super thick and fat and healthy. That's three fish, you guys, three for four, almost four, gosh. In about 30 to, I've been here about 30, almost, probably almost 40 minutes all together with all the goofing off with the net and the baits and stuff. So that's three for four in about 40 minutes. Man, let's see if I can make it four under an hour. Let's go. Got her, giant! 